in this little video I want to show you yet another magical image editing tool that you can use on Pixlr. In this case we're going to use the clone stamp tool, this tool here, and we're going to use it to remove this identifying sign from this photograph. You'll be amazed how easy it is. First I'm going to use the um, navigator panel to zoom in on the sign a little bit more. So I've got a 70 brush, big brush, and a feathered edge so that it doesn't give me um, sharp edges. I have the opacity set at 100. Sample all layers doesn't matter because this is only one layer, it's the background layer. And I have a lined check, which is the default. Aligned means that the sampling will look at the same area of the picture. So I'm going to begin by sampling right here, and I'm going to hold down control and click. Now I've released control and now I'm going to drag over the stake of the plant and you see that what gets colored in where the stake of the sign was is what was an equal distance from the new location. So what's happened here, you see this brown has been duplicated. Pixlr has taken what was here and duplicated it and put it in place of the plant stake. You can see a little shadow here. Can you see that little shadow? Very easy to remove by just single clicking. And because it's a small area of the photograph, you won't really see the slight odd appearance of duplication because it's a tiny area of the photograph. It just won't show. Let's come up here. We can try that again with the plant. I'll click here, control, click, and I'm going to drag across. Wait, missed. Control, click, and drag. And see what happened? Because it was copying to the left of where I control clicked, what it started to do was duplicate the sign, which was not at all what we wanted. Right, so let's do this. Control click. See how beautiful. Oh, look, we have some echoes coming in up here. No, to, not to worry. Again, like the color replace tool, this is a smart tool. It's running fairly complicated algorithms underneath the simple use. And so It doesn't always, well, I suppose if you're really experienced, it probably gives you completely predictable results. For me, it doesn't give completely com predictable results, but it gives completely satisfactory results. So this is what I prefer to do, one click and over. Because that way you don't get, if you, paste, if you paint with the tool, you tend to get somewhat unrealistic results. But I find that daubing with the tool like this gives me very satisfactory results. You can see you're just replacing it with kind of random greenery. It looks like the leaves are just a little longer and the dirt comes up a little further and the sign just disappears. Somebody said, is it revealing what's behind it? But of course it isn't because there is nothing behind it. This is a single layer photograph. It's just duplicating what I click on to fill the area that did have the sign in it. Well, that's a sign for another plant, so I don't have to fret about that. Okay, so let's zoom out and see how our work was. Look at that. View, show all. And this is where the sign was. And if you look closely, you can see a little aberration in the leaves, but you certainly won't see it unless you're looking for it. Very satisfactory. That's the clone stamp tool. You can use it to fix defects in old photographs, a scratched old black and white perhaps. You can use it to um, 
if you've got an otherwise beautiful photograph where somebody's hair is falling in their eyes, you can fix that. You can fix a blemish on someone's skin. You can take out wrinkles if, if you've got a photo of your grandma. Lots of things you can do as, apart from taking out little aspects of the image that you don't want. So have fun with this one.